Hi guys, we are going to install ZAM on our system and we are going to do it with a local PHP because we want to run PHP on our system so we need ZAM as our server but you can also use ZAM for website if you want to create a website, WordPress, uh, Zoom, Joomla but we are going for the local PHP so let's install it, we click here Hey, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do. What are you waiting for? Just click the red button underneath the video. We're installing for Windows. So we're clicking here. The version we're installing is 8.012. So we'll click on it. For Windows. Okay, it's only 116 MB in size okay done installing and now we're going to open it up so we're done downloading it now we're going to install it so click on open we click yes Okay, right in here we can see that we have an error um i do advise we read it so don't just click ok read it so that you know what you're meant to change or remove okay so we look at it right now it says because an active user account control so that's the meaning uac user account control on your system some functions of them are possibly restricted with uac please avoid to install XAM to C drive or deactivate UAC with MS config after the setup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to install XAM on my D drive. Um, and because you see, UAC means user account control. So let's move on. Okay, so I just installed it on my D drive. Okay, right here you can choose to unclick any of these features if you don't need them. But I'm just gonna leave them there and click next. Next. So I'm gonna change where to download to. Uh, let's put it on D drive. I need to select a folder. May I just. Create another folder. Then I can call it Zam. Okay. So I just select this. So I'm starting to D drive. Next. Um, language. English. Hmm. Bitnami, for example, provides free installer that can install Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, and many other popular open source apps on top of your existing XAMPP installation. So depending on what you want to use XAMPP for, I just want to use XAMPP for PHP. So I'm not going to uh, install any other application for like WordPress or Joomla. So I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna click next. Okay. Say hello to your favorite application on Sam. Quickly install Bitnami WordPress module on top of your Zap server. I really don't need that right now. I'm not gonna install that. So it says here, yeah, setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer. So we click next. So the reason why I'm installing XAMPP is basically for PHP. So it is installing, so this is a good time to tell you what XAMPP is and some advantages and disadvantages of using XAMPP. Let's get right into it now. Okay, right now well, I'm gonna explain what XAMPP is. So let's go right into it. 
Tam is a free and open source cross-platform web server solution stack package developed by Apache Friends, consisting mainly of the Apache HTTP server, MariaDB database, and interpreters for scripts writing in the HTTP and Perl programming languages. Advantage and disadvantage of ZAMP. So surprising thing, ZAMP only has one disadvantage, and that is configuration and settings is tough to do as compared to WAMP server. Seriously, it only has one one disadvantage. Okay, now let's look at the advantage of using ZAMP. It is easy to install and compare to other web server like WAMP. It is multi cross platform, which means ZAMP is available for Windows and Linux. It also comes with a number of other modules, including OpenSSL, PHP MyAdmin, MediaWiki, Joomla, WordPress, and more. ZAMP is offered in both a full and a standard version. You can start and stop the old web server database stack with one command. Seriously, looking at their disadvantage and advantage, it does have more advantage. So, so I'm going to put a link to this ZAMP in my description so that you can also download it okay we're back so it's almost done installing and we'll just finish it up now and if you look down here you can see that it's active I have a little icon here that appeared okay now you can see that we have the ZAMP has opened up so we can Start it here. Okay, it's working. It's working. Okay, so when you're starting in the first time, Windows Firewall might block some of the operation. So you will have to allow it. Once you're done allowing it, you're cool to go. So let's just allow it now. So we can see that this has been blocked by my firewall on Windows. So I have going to allow it so you can see that it's running and it's working after installing your ZAMP you can type this code right here after typing it you save it as you save it as file just with the name dot php that we are saving it as then you change the type save as type to all files you change to all files then click save then you come all the way to my pc i installed my exam on d drive instead of c drive i'm gonna go here this is the folder exam then I'm going to to htdoc, open it. Then I'm going to the dashboard, open it. Okay, then move it down. Then move this file into here. With that done. Close. Then I'm going to open up my exam. You can find it from here. So I have my open already right here. So I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm going to um, right here. You can see mine is already activated on. So let me show you how you can stop it. So I've stopped it. The server. So now I can re I can re activate it again. Open it up. Open. Start. Start. You can see it start and um, it's all green over here. Then minimize this come over to my browser then in my browser i'm going to type localhost 
you have to make sure you're off your internet so that it doesn't go all the way to Google. So click enter and look at it. Zap and to view the file that we just put into the dashboard, type the name of the file, file.pp and click enter and we can take a look at it. So that's it, it's working well. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Bye.